guys rc here back with episode 67 football manager 19 and we have been on a good run of form as you can see here a couple of losses but let's take a look since our burton albion win we beat wrexham five to one Jaden bennett's playing in the number 10 in this match scored a hat trick patrick awani our left uh he's left or right back one of our fullbacks and freddie madison in in relief got an extra time goal we beat accrington stanley on a madison goal one nil sutton united barry hicks was sent off in the 69th minute joe hardy got a penalty and it was a straight red card he ended up being suspended for four matches uh two and then an additional two uh after the uh, incident Morecambe, we beat 4-0. Steven Dua, MJ Williams, a new player. Andy Simmons, all with early goals. Madison got on the score sheet again. Exeter City beat us 3-1. Aaron Wilson scored early, and then we just got demolished. Crew, we beat 3-1. Aaron Wilson got another goal. Uh, he had been in a 12-match goalless streak or something like that. It was a long time. Uh, we picked up an own goal, and then Awani got another goal from the back line. Oxford, we beat 3-2. Andy Simmons, MJ Williams got another goal. Courtney Sr., another recent acquisition, got a goal as well. Uh, Belickery Town, 3-0 clean sheet. Aaron Dixon was sent off with a red card for their side in the ninth minute. Uh, we did get an own goal, and then Jaden Bennett picked up a brace. Forrest Green, we edged 3-2. Aaron Wilson, Bennett, and Steven Dua. Uh, we were up 3-0. They got two late goals to make it close. Bradford City, Madison with a stoppage time goal in the 93rd minute for the win. And we beat Peterborough 2-1. Bennett's in an early goal. Freddie Madison got the start in this one, 28th minute goal. Jamie Stewart got on the sheet for Peterborough uh, in the 84th minute. Good run here for us. And we have jumped back up into second. We have secured playoffs. Uh, we did that a couple of matches ago. We're sitting 81 with three matches to play, two points behind Bradford City, who we actually beat, uh, and Exeter City, who we lost to. Go figure. And uh, so we have secured playoffs. A win today will secure automatic promotion, I believe. Let's double check our rules here. Top three teams go to League One. All right, so looking forward to that. So today we are playing Cambridge United. So I ended up coming back one match early because this is where we can secure automatic promotion. If we win this one, then I'll come back for Chester. If we lose this one, then I'll take a look and see if Salford can clinch as well. And then I'll come back for Salford so we can watch the automatic uh, clinching if that's the way it goes. So let's get into it today. Uh, pretty even with these guys. Uh, Cambridge United, two wins, two loss, two, uh, dr one draw, and then two defeats. Uh, we are slight favorites on the road in a downpour. So since we're favorites, I'm going to go with this tactic. So basically, this is what I've decided that I've been playing. If we're home favorites, I'm playing this one. If we're heavy road favorites, I play this one as well. If we're favorites, but it's by a slim margin, I go with this one. And then if we're underdogs or slim favorites on the road, I play this one. So we are here. All right. Let's take a look, see how our guys... Everybody's pretty good with the exception of Luthera. Now, the game, for whatever reason, because, you know, I, I use my quick pick and I have some settings in there. Uh, the game has actually put Ula y Yemi into the starting spot over Luthera. Luthera had started 29 matches. Uh, so that's a little surprising, but I've been going with it. He's now started 14 matches. He's giving up one goal per game, 
four shutouts. He's playing better. And he's not quite as good at one-on-ones. We saw that last match where he kind of flapped at it with his left hand. But that's the guy that's under contract to us. Luther is a loney. So I'm riding, I'm, I'm going ahead with this right now. Uh, if we have to, if we have a match that we've got to win, I think I might go with Luthra. We'll see. And we're getting ready to do taxes. So my wife's printing some stuff up. So you will hear that. Hopefully the power does not go out. Uh, we just had some bad weather set in. We're, I love the blue kits. I wish we could wear these more often. <laughs> All right. Ooh, overhead shot. All right, out to Simmons. Plays it up to the wing to Justin. Cuts it inside. A poor cross. Poor cross across the field. Oh, there's a nice through ball. Mevaditi. Good save by Oliyawimi. Oliyawimi. Oliyimi. Something like that. We'll work on it. All right, into the mixer. Keeper makes the save. Ola, Ola Wu Yimmy. There you go. Ola Wu Yimmy. All right, let's tell him to get creative here. All right, James Justin. Uh, one of our guys, I do need to show you Williams. He was a new signing. All right, look how he heads it down to himself. Why can't our players do that? Just disappointing, right? Oh, wide of the mark. He took a ping. It was, uh, might be James Justin. He, uh, oh, off the mark. Uh, set a new record for most yellows and reds in a season. Not Stevens, because it was a hell of a lot more than that. <laughs> All right. Up to Dua. All right. Shot. Oh, just high. He was looking for top bins. That would have been pretty nice. All right, Bennett's. Wilson. Stevens. Oh, it's in. Madison, number 13 on the season. Good job. Who got the Jordan Stevens with the assist? Nice little header there. I believe he headed it in. Nice touch out, Stevens. Yeah, Matt, he just bent over at the waist and put a forehead on it. Very nice. All right, second yellow for MJ Williams. Pete, out to Bennett's. He's got the overlap on the left. Plays it out. Bailey, crossed in. Bennett's in. Nice save. Oh, my gosh. He did a slide. It was going in. It was dribbling towards that line. Oh, so close. God, I don't want to let this get away. All right. Prove a point. We've got three, three yellows here. Oh, by the way, let's take a look. Uh, MJ Williams. No, nope, I cannot target him here. That's fine. We'll look at him after the match. We did sign him. He came in on a free. He's basically our replacement for Broccoli. Dropped in. Long range shot. That was not good. And that was their team. I'm so used to looking at the yellow. I was like, that doesn't look right. All right. Out to Bailey. Oh, nice block. Good pickup. Dua drives. Oh, he was greedy. He had to, he had a runner coming in. Damn. Damn. Uh, let me pause this for just a second. This is going to go down. I need to resize my... Oh, it didn't change. Cool. All right. I just wanted to downsize myself there. All right. Let's give him a little bit of praise. All right. Wilson. Uh, curved it wide. 
taxes and get ready to do my expense check tomorrow. Andy Simmons off the back line. That could have been the clincher. His seventh goal of the season. Simmons is a center back for us. Oh. As soon as I'm done with this, guys, we have a tornado warning. I'm going to have to go take shelter here in a minute. All right. Let's bring Courtney Sr. on. Barry Hicks. All right. We're going to have to, yep, their wife's bringing the kids downstairs. We've never had a tornado hit this area, but they have been in the area. Come on, boys. Clear out. Come on, hurry. I got to go. <laughs> Come on, I got to I got to go. Sorry that I'm having to fly through this, guys, but you know, I want to I want to be able to come back and Come on, boys. Offsides. There, there, can we go to the bathroom? Can we get dressed? No, there's a tornado coming. They don't even care if they save their lives. The kids today, I don't get it. I don't get it. Oh, well. All right. Good job. I'm coming, honey. Why is your thing flashing red? What screen? Because the battery's dying, I guess. All right, we get promoted, automatic promotion. We'll check on these next time, guys. Uh, we do have another game to do for this episode, so we'll catch up on the emails. I'll be back sometime later. All right, guys, well, it is now tomorrow <laughs> from when I was recording the first half of this episode. Uh, so, still alive. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing to you guys. Good thing for me. Um, anyway, so we had the tornado warning. Uh, we were told to seek shelter for about 40 minutes. Um, and then it was really funny. Right after the tornado warning ended, power went out <laughs> for about three hours. And then when the power came back on, my internet was down. Oh, bring, pull this back around there. Thank you. Um, so anyway just got home from work so we're gonna sit down and try to record the end of this episode and get into the playoffs uh for next episode but told you we would catch up on the emails because i had to i had to get uh yesterday so sorry about having to cut that off uh really tight there at the end but you know had to go we actually ended up having a tornado touchdown about let's see this direction can you see that yes that way which is southeast of me probably about less than 10 miles no actually probably less than five miles away uh saw some pictures last night wasn't horrific uh no houses appear to have been destroyed i haven't heard anything about loss of life fingers crossed uh, did see a, a drone, somebody put a drone video up, uh, a lot of trees down, a lot of fences down, trees on cars, but you know, all those things can be fixed, uh, loss of life, not so much. So, uh, haven't heard anything about anybody, uh, you know, suffering a loss of life to that, but it was pretty close, uh, to, to us. So, uh, but we got away with no damage. So anyway, moving on. Uh, so we were promoted. Yes. Um, here is our initial budgets. 2.91 million. Million. I could, uh, couldn't hit that high note. 
uh, and 136,000 in the transfer budget. So I'm going to have a transfer budget. <laughs> so if we take a look at finances, we're at 1.8. So we've got uh, over a million dollars to spend and 136,000. Now, currently we only have 30% of the transfer budget uh, available uh, because we are still suffering losses. So even going up, I don't know that I'm going to make a big splash in the market. I may try to sell some guys and then buy some other players to replace them that are upgrades. That's my hope. Uh, you know, maybe two or three guys. It won't be, I don't think it'll be a massive number, but uh, we'll talk more about that in the season finale. Uh, but just wanted to go over the finance uh, release that came out. Uh, the board is ecstatic. <laughs> um, the board praised the unbelievable promotion because remember our goal was to avoid relegation. So that's great. Uh, MJ Williams, our newest signing. Well, I don't know how he knows all. He's only been here for a couple of weeks. Uh, Simmons on fire, one goal, eight headers. So we're going to praise his defensive work. And that's good. All right, so um, I wanted to at least come back here and just kind of catch up on the emails that I would have done yesterday, but, you know, couldn't do it. We're going to go ahead and play Salford off camera. We'll come back for Chester for the season finale. And, well, you know what? Why don't we do this? Why don't we do this? I'm going to go ahead and play both matches off camera since we've gained automatic promotion. Crap, we're not even in the playoffs. So, no, there is nothing else. We'll come back and, uh, and, and do Chester for the season finale. See you guys in a second. We're back for the season finale. Uh, real quick, we did lose to Salford 2-0. Uh, we did play a semi-heavily rotated um, roster. Pete got Pete started up on the wing. Uh, Agu started. Courtney Sr. started. Adnan George. Adam George started. Uh, Aya Kaviti was back in the starting. Uh, Barry Hicks gave us some crap. Uh, he was not happy that some of our younger players were not used. He's freaking 22 years old. He is one of our young players. He started 26 games. So I've transfer listed him. And um, one of the other things, I've gone up to League One. I have picked out the three got teams that have been relegated already. In fact, there might be a fourth team. Swindon Town. Uh, let's go ahead and get them started with... Uh, scouting as well basically they're going down I'm going to see if I can pilfer some of their better players uh, I've already made one signing so good on that uh, let's jump to team selection all right we are favorites I'm going to try to win this match I uh, don't want to end the season on two losses uh, well you know I mean we, we don't have anything to play for so I guess it really doesn't matter right uh, let's see. Uh, we're going to do our entire team. And then I want to do a full rotation. Bloop. Oh, you know what? Let's put our U23s in there. And then we might get some U23s. All right. So Senior, Miller, Booth, Pereira. Pereira's normal. He's, he's back. Newell, Brown, Luthra. Yeah, this is a fully rotated squad. I don't have any reason to get my guys hurt. I actually had a guy hurt last match, uh, and he's out for two months. He'll be back for next season, but you know we don't have anything to play for today. So, you know, not like we're going to lose anything if we... If we lose the match, 
which is nice. It's nice not to be having to win your match, right? <laughs> All right, we are in our yellow kits. Uh, I am going to toss this out. What do you guys... Oh, how did he get... He got it through two people. Ninth goal of the season. Two defenders and the keeper. He blew it through three of them. That's, that's brutally horrible. Newell bends it wide. Um... Give me some thought. Should I continue this save? I don't mind continuing it. We are going up. So I can certainly keep going. Uh, just, you know, I don't know if you guys care at all. Uh, so let me know what you think in the comments. Um, you know, just let me know what you think about, you know, about this, oh, about this save. Uh, we also have our save for uh, the Victor Orta challenge, the director of football challenge. I would like to keep going with that one for a while. I've got more time invested in this one, but I don't, you know, again, I don't know how many people, you know, or, you know, even care to be honest. Um, I've been getting, just to give you an idea, I love doing the football manager. I'm going to keep doing it. I, but I'm thinking about scaling back to one save uh, and, and then doing more of other stuff just, you know, because it gets more interest on my channel. Uh, and for some reason I've just never garnered the interest of the football manager community. I know there's a lot of people out there. I'm one of them that watch a ton of football manager videos. I've just never been able to crack that market. I've been doing FM content for two years and, you know, I'm still only getting, you know, average of four to five views per episode. Uh, and just to give you a comparison, while my channel is very small, uh, we've gained almost 15 subscribers. Taken down in the box, Ed, Ed and George. Uh, and the Green Hell series that I'm doing, which is a survival game, is, uh, oh, nice placement. Very nice. Hey, Creamsicle. Uh, is getting about 35 views per episode. So, you know, I certainly think I owe it to those viewers that are going to take the time to watch episodes, to do more stuff that they're watching. And again, I'm not going to quit doing FM, but I may phase down to one series, you know, just on sheer views. Um, so... Let me know if you're one of my FM watchers. Do you want me to continue with this save or with the director of football save? My feeling is the director of football, it's newer. It's, um, anyway, you know, it's, I wish I wasn't in this position. I, I wish that in two years of efforts of, of putting out six episodes a week, that, you know, I would have garnered a little more interest and support from the FM community, but I don't know what else to do to, you know, to get more FM people watching the channel. I get great reviews. The people that you guys that do watch it tell me they're, they're quality videos, which I, I, hey, I appreciate that. And that's why, you know, even if it's just five of you, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going to quit doing what I'm doing um, because I owe that to you guys. You know, and again, I, I've always said at my size, I can afford to be, you know, a little flexible. Uh, please get off of my, <laughs> he's standing on my on off switch on my uh, power cord. Don't want that. Uh, Wallace, let's bring Neil in. Miller for Christoffi. And I'm going to, yeah. if we drop him, no, I don't have anybody else. Uh, mid center left. 
Let's bring a goo in there. A goo. Yeah, let's do that. Little out of position, but. And don't tear that up, please. <laughs> so anyway, um, I don't want this to come off sounding ungrateful because I'm not. Uh, I've always said I do this for fun. I don't do this for a living. I don't ask you guys for money or gifts or anything else. And hey, you know, there's a lot of people that do that and more power to them. And if they can make a living and, you know, get people to buy them their video cameras and microphones, that's fabulous. I, hey, more power to them. Um, you know, I've bought the video camera. I've bought a, a, a Blue Yeti um, out of my pocket, out of my income. And I've never expected that. Uh, so, you know, that's, I don't have a Patreon account. Uh, I don't do streams for you guys to... I can't do any more. Um, you know, anything on that regard. So, you know, I hope you guys appreciate that, that I do it for you for fun, you know. Uh, so, no, I'm not stopping FM, even if there's only five of you that watch an episode. But I think I owe it to myself and viewers of other series on my channel that are spending more time watching and putting time into my channel to keep up with series that are garnering the attention from that side. Um, so I am going to keep going with FM. Just let me know. Do I keep going with Barnett or do I switch over to the director of football and we end the season on a win? Uh, so, you know, I want you guys to make that choice. Let me know in the comments and uh, let me know, you know, if you want to let me know your reasoning, great. If you just want to put this one, the other one, Barnett, the director of football, whatever you guys want to do is okay. If you don't make a choice, I'll make the choice for us. Uh, it'll be whichever one I'm having the most fun with, which honestly is probably going to be the director of football. And I may turn this one into a personal save uh, for myself. Uh, we are going to, okay, we're done, but, um, great season. I do want to show you, we've made one signing already. And that is James Hoskins from Rockdale. Uh, he is joining us at uh, the end of the season. Uh, cost is, well, we can actually see, I guess. Yeah, $67,000, and we signed him to a $180,000 a week contract. Uh, so, but he is pretty solid. I mean, that's a 25. We've got him on a three-year deal. Uh, One-on-ones is 14. Kicking is 13. Handling is 14. Uh, command of area, aerial reach, jumping, uh, reflexes. I, I think the agility, this guy looks really solid. Uh, now, he's allowed 29 and 18 in League One, which is where we'll be next year. So not quite two, you know, two goals per match. Uh, hopefully, he can raise that rating. And maybe a lot of that has to do with his club. Don't know, but we'll see. Uh, so he will be joining us as our new goalkeeper next year. And uh, yeah, so I like him. I think he's a definite upgrade. And then, like I said, we've already put out, uh, we'll have a couple of other guys, Harry Hamblin, who I, let's see, he's a defensive mid, marking, tackling. He can't, yeah, he's okay. But honestly, looking at his ratings, I think he could step in for us. I think he would be an upgrade there. Uh, we have a, another winger. He is probably, he's probably a backup at best. Probably a guy that if I had to sign him now, I would say no. And then Rob Hall, I was signing him for veteran leadership. I was hoping to get him but 
Yeah, he's he's gonna be he's gonna be a waste of space for us at the next level. I'm sorry to say. Anyway, great season. Let's uh let's try to finish up here. And honors even Wallace Curtin. All right, so we pick up fifteen thousand for winning second place. I wonder what the uh, just out of curiosity. Oh wow, there's no prize money in in uh, in this league either, unless you win first or second. It's about the same. That's disappointing. Disappointing. All right, let's get on. So I've got scouting for the four teams that were going to be at the bottom of League One and that were going to get relegated. They may not be willing to, to sell them, and I don't know. I don't know what that's going to do for us from an attendance standpoint. So I wanted to get a really good goalkeeper to try to, you know, hold off goals to make it easier for us to get wins. But I don't want to go crazy, even though I have a lot of money, because I want to see how we're going to do from a attendance perspective. Oh, come on, guys. Just get to the player of the year and stuff. Hurry, hurry. All in all, I think a great season for us. Big time. Big time. All right, we'll do that. MJ Williams. Come on. Sometimes it seems like it's one day. Sometimes it seems like it's a week later. I, I don't know. It just always, always seems to be different. whatever make an offer if you want him probably a lot of players could be had at this point in time <laughs> and this is always that you know and I, I this is one of those things that i really kind of struggle with getting promoted especially so quickly is how you know how do i handle our roster you know, I know, you know, the big fight the first year is really just to stay up and hopefully we can, you know, play, you know, play above our weight a little bit uh, and, and then, you know, stay up, get that second year where maybe the, you know, we get more fans, draw a bigger fan base. Because um, the problem is even right now we were losing a ton of money now. On the flip side, we, we did make a lot of money last year in uh, preseason, and hopefully we can do that again this year, uh, play some away games uh, against some larger clubs, get a piece of the gate, and that's where we made a lot of our money uh, that saw us through the season, even though we lost quite a bit of money. Um, but that's going to be kind of the goal here again. All right, um, I'll come back and look at those guys. I'm just trying to get to the end of the season, man. That's all I want to do. I don't really have anything else to talk about, fellas. Uh, thank you for watching another year. Um, of course, you know, it, it's going to be a moot point if you guys decide that you want the other save, uh, which is fine, you know, but like I said, I will keep playing this on the side and, you know, it won't be a priority for me like recording episodes for the channel. But, you know, if I do continue playing, then I can at least give you guys periodic updates on how we're doing and, uh, you know, record little cuts uh, for this save. Uh, and, you know, just to keep you guys in the loop if you're curious. Um, and again, for those of you that are are my FM uh, faithful, you know, from the FM community, if you have any suggestions, any ideas, uh, any tips on how I can get my name out there into, into the FM community 
as a regular contributor of at least semi-quality um, FM content, let me know. You know, private message me, hit me up on Twitter, uh, put it in the comments. You know, I'm not above asking for help. Um, you know, I'm a firm believer in asking for help. And obviously what, you know, the things that I've done over the years, um, I've reached out to other FM channels, um, people that I support personally and don't really get any support there. Um, I've worked on trying to get my tags better. Um, I've worked on adding it to my Twitter list with uh, tags to SI and uh, FM content creator and, you know, various things of that nature and just not, not seeing any type of growth on the FM side of my channel, which is, which is a piece that I, 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 you know, is close to my heart. If it wasn't, I don't think I would have done two years of episodes, uh, but I've given it a run for two years and now I'm asking for help. So if you guys like what I'm doing, if you have any suggestions, please let me know. You know, I'm not above asking for help. All right, let's see. End of season award, Stephen Dua, player of the year, 34%. Uh, Patrick Awani, 30%. He's our uh, back, uh, fullback. James Justin, 23%. Aaron Wilson, the goal of the season. Jordan Stevens, our signing of the season for 84 and a half thousand. Stephen Dua, young player of the season as well. Uh, let's see. Lost in the second round, lost in the first round, runner up in League Two. 5 3 loss to Bury was the moment to forget. So we're drawing in 30, almost 3,800, 60% capacity attendance. Now, like this month, we've actually made money, but 15,000 of that, we've made 59,000 profit this season. So maybe we are at a point, but that means. I really can't afford much more in the way of salaries, right? I can only afford about 59000 which we're already paying our new keeper much more than that. Uh, we go up to two point eight, which is almost a million dollars. So a lot of that's going to be contract increases. Oh, that's going to be horrible. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to have to get rid of a lot of these guys. All right, discuss plans for next year. Cautious. Um, it's been a great season. You've all done brilliantly. I'm going to give you all a chance to keep us up next year. Like that one. Ooh, hello. Okay, well, work as hard as possible disappointing wow they're expecting to come down already all right board has us at 96 percent finances were at a hundred percent uh we'll just confirm that i'm trying to see okay so a lot of people a lot of people on transfer list i'm going to come back and go through that on my own because a lot of these guys might be guys I want to look at picking up. Uh, we are scouting them. I think we're scouting this guy. Yep, scouting in progress. Uh, pace, 5'11". It's a little short, but not horrible. Marking, very good defensively, a little pace. So some of these guys I may want to look at, but I've also got to jump into my roster and see who I can get rid of potentially because evidently a lot of these guys – are getting bigger contracts getting promotion raises so we'll check that out uh i'm probably gonna miss well this will be going up probably tuesday if i had to guess uh i'll render it today probably go out tomorrow so what i'm probably going to do is give you guys the rest of this week to view this episode hear what i've got to say and then make the decision 
on which league I move forward on. So at the same token, I will record another episode in the Director of Football Challenge. That'll go up this week as well. And then we'll probably take the week, rest of the week off, see what you guys have to say, and then start recording in whichever one we're moving forward in. Guys, thank you so much. If this is the last episode of this series, I've had a great time. Infield Town, thank you very much. Really enjoyed learning about the club, following the club. I still am subscribed to them on their Twitter feed, uh, following their results. And uh, Barnett, haven't really heard anything from anybody Barnett related. Um, I don't have any ties to the club. So that's one reason, you know, this one wouldn't bother me one way or the other. Um, you know, is what it is. But um, anyway... Thank you guys for another season, another season, um, another, you know, year of football manager under the belt. And uh, I hope I've made some quality videos for you guys on this series. Uh, and, you know, I'll be happy to continue doing that or continue on on the other series. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comments. You make your, your voice heard. And we'll see you wherever we see you football manager related moving forward in about a week. Take care, guys. Have a good one. Bye.